Well, good morning, good morning to all in the Marmy Army this morning and welcome to Arrow Valley Country Park in Redditch. Now, I am doing the Ironbridge Half Marathon tomorrow, but with my fear of park runs completely now null and void, I thought I'd come and do a bit of park run tourism and come up to Arrow Valley Country Park and do this one. Haven't been to this place uh, for some time. I used to be a regular visitor when our kids were babies and uh, it was pretty well the only place that we could come to get out to stave off the depression. You know, you kind of find somewhere, spend two hours actually building up to get out, pack the world into a, an ill-fitting bag that was strapped onto the back of your pushchair and then walk around somewhere cold panic when one of the kids had pooed themselves, head back towards a cafeteria with changing facilities and then wait to see the Armageddon that unfolded. Either one of the kids had done a poo that had, was so sloppy it had gone up the back, spilt over the back of the Aldi nappy and wrecked one of their baby grows with some sort of yellow concoction that they didn't actually eat. Wife had panicked, run back to the car, get another baby grow, they'd saw all that, process starts again. Or, more amusingly, on the rare occasion they did a solid poo, you could kind of flick it out the back of the nappy. And it was like uh, it had formed between their cheeks, like a Terry's chocolate orange segment. It didn't taste the same, but uh, you know, you can't have everything. The race will start in about 30 minutes. I've got no idea what it's like, but as I say, I think it's going to be a nippy one. Uh, haven't had a shower this morning, that's the hot news. Haven't bothered, but what's the point? And my hair at the moment is, is actually quite easy to manage. I've got a whistler. I don't, know whether, I don't know whether you can hear that. When I'm breathing in through my nose, uh, I don't know whether it's, there's some debris up there or whatever, but it's formed a whistler. Yeah, it's doing, it's doing it again. It's going to irritate me all the way around unless I do that footballer thing. Look like that. It'll probably blow back and hit somebody in the face. A bit like uh, cream egg fondant straight in the hair. I don't know where that came from. Well, I do, it'll be my nose and lungs. Haven't had a shower this morning, right? Which is a bold move in many ways. But my hair at the moment is so low maintenance. It has, I mean, it's very long and it has formed, however, um, a kind of a very middle-aged blowback. Now, it's not deliberate, but it just seems to be going that way. It seems to just sweep itself backwards. Um, I'm just essentially becoming my father-in-law and it's just sort of going backwards. I suppose I'm quite lucky I've still got some, but I'd rather not look like uh, Alan Rickman in Die Hard. But over there looks like the start. That is the aforementioned cafe over there where I used to flick out the uh, Terry's chocolate orange segments. And the start looks like it's over there. I think I might sit in the car for a bit. It really is cold. And I've forgotten things like my glove, my hat, why wear a hat when you know you've got this sort of blowback? Where, what, what happens with a blowback? It looks like I've just been shouted at. If you're still watching at this point, remember to hit like, hit subscribe, and hit the bell. Really helps me to grow the channel. I feel like I need to go on a bit of a rant this morning, right? So I ordered over Christmas a pair of ASICs Metaspeed Sky. Hid them under the bed as I do most of my purchases because I couldn't justify it, right? Particularly when we've got electricity bills we couldn't pay. Then when the Socony Pro 4 came out, I decided actually I'd like to switch. Cut a long story short, I lost patience with sportsshoes.com and their returns portal. So I just sent it direct via Every myself, right? Every is the parcel shipping company that sportsshoes.com use. So I thought, what would be the problem? So I went via their website, sent it privately to the returns address that sportshoes.com put out there. I waited, I waited, I waited. I managed to get through to Every to track my parcel to find out where it had gone. I, I was sent a photograph of a delivery driver who had gone to the wrong unit. I, there are three units on that particular retail uh, park. One with sportshoes.com written all over the side of it. He went to the different one. Delivery, I was told, would be re-attempted the following day. Well, I don't know what happened, but the driver didn't bother to re-attempt, actually. In fact, I think what he actually did was just got my box and just chucked it out of his window. So I got a lovely email just saying, yep, unfortunately, your parcel's lost. 
Oh, right. Dead end then, is it? Dead end. So I got in contact again, managed to get through the uh, call center, and they said, well, did you take out our insurance policy? What do you mean, did I take out my insurance policy with you? Now, did you take out the 20 pounds insurance policy? So let me get this right. I had to pay 20 pounds for the peace of mind that if someone couldn't find the right unit with sportshoes.com written all over the side of it, I wouldn't then have my trainers thrown out of the window of a delivery van. All oh, right, yeah, that is a that is a problem, isn't it? Well, because you'll only actually be insured now for uh, 20 pounds. Yeah, but the shoes cost me 134. Yeah, but um, you, you didn't have the insurance, you see, so we'll only be able to give you 20 pounds. Right, well, let's start with the 20 pounds, shall we? Yeah, you'll have to fill out one of our complaint forms. Oh, I'm quite happy to fill that in, which I did. I right, filled out their complaint form, sent it on January the 22nd. I've paid for the shoes now, 134 or whatever it was, 140 quid, right, gone. And now whenever I phone at the call center, my number is blocked. It simply says, we are dealing with your request. You aren't dealing with my request. You've stolen from me. You've bloody stolen from me. I don't think I'm over-egging this, right? It's like me committing a murder. It's like me going around to somebody's house and battering them to death. And then when the police come around to my house, I simply just shut the front door of my house and just say, um, I'm not in. Right, Mr. Sten, are you up there? Uh, you wanted for murder. No, I, I'm not in. Sorry, I, I, sorry, I, I'm dealing with your request. You're not dealing with my request. You're on trial for murder. Open your front door. I'm not sure whether that's the correct analogy, but I think you can see where I'm going with this. Somebody in your warehouse is wearing my ASICS Metaspeed Sky. What person in that warehouse is going to need a carbon plated sole? I do, they don't. Yeah, heading towards the start. Bit uncomfortable. I think, gentlemen, you'll probably be able to sympathise with this. Just stopped for a wild wee and uh, wasn't patient enough. Uh, didn't shake properly. Didn't really wait the required length of time at the end. And um, having popped the mouse back into the house, I have continued to urinate as I've walked along. So it's... Uh, a fairly damp experience, it's spreading. Everyone seems to know where they're going, I don't. A lot of people are heading towards the toilets. No point in me going unless I have a, a very, very real session under the hand dryer with my genitals. I can't think that'll go down well with people. This looks nice. Looks like a nice warm gazebo down there. bloke there either stretching out or just reflecting on life I think he actually might be reflecting on life still best not to disturb now on stage there is my friend Andy uh, Andy Goldsby what a delight to have seen him he's loving this he's whiffing the crowd into his super it's got a bit about you Andy has there is somebody holding a whiteboard for him like an auto cue. This guy's a legend. Dramatic walk to the start. I love these. Get on the pavement, Okay, that was tricky, trying to get away there. That was really hard. So many people crammed in, but uh, off now. Mind the post. Mind the post, don't talk to me about post. So, two laps, and uh, I feel a bit dehydrated. I only had a coffee this morning. This is nice. That's a sunny day for it as well. Yeah, quite impressive this so far. Motoring along. 
trying not to push too hard with the uh, race tomorrow, but I can't help it. I've got one setting, and that's all I've got. But what a day. Who needs the booze? Hey! <laughs> what a legend! If you'd have fallen then, that would have been brilliant. Mommy army. Morning, thank you. Right, lap two. Hey, gold three! How are you, mate? Now, it's very rare that you get chatting on the bar run, but me and Darren have had a chat. He's in seventh, I'm in eighth, we think. He's gonna hit in a minute, I can see by his legs, he's off. Coming up to the finish, I think. I hope. Thanks, buddy. Right, that was our Valley. I enjoyed that. That was very good. Now, I'm going to try and distract Andy from his head marshalling duties. How are you doing, I'm mate? All right, mate. Good. Oh, good. I um, watched you with some awe in the uh, the amphitheatre that you created. But I thought you were a marshal. I didn't realise you were leading the show. I'm giddy with power today, mate. My first run director. So. Well, I can honestly <laughs> tell you, it is the best run directing I think I've ever seen. There was some laughter. Tears, you had them emotion, like that. Emotion, emotion. No, brilliant. Mate, I, 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 honestly, <laughs> it's a great course, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's yeah, nice. yeah, brilliant, brilliant. So you, you do Bruton normally, isn't it? I have done it a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm a bit of a nomad these days, you know. I'm, you know, I'm not just a. Yeah, a bit of tourism, but I like this. I'll do this one again. Oh. It's great, particularly if you're going to be running the show. I'll bless you, mate. Thank you. Yeah, I'll let you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was ace. Really enjoyed that. I had a lovely little chat off camera with Andy. You know, covered a number of issues. You know, we talked about my childhood, his childhood, you know, his marshalling ambitions, tips that I'd got for him, tips that he'd got for me. All off camera, obviously. You know, we had to stop in the end because we both started crying and, you know, he'd got a job to do and I'd just finished the race and it looked like, you know, I, it could have been my last race, you know. But um, yeah, no, enjoyed that. So I, I'll post the results a little bit later. They'll appear down here when I get my lunchtime email. That's if they've bothered to collect my data. Don't collect my data. Anyway, I'm off to Ironbridge tomorrow. I really enjoyed that. I will defo be doing Arrow Valley again, particularly if Andy is the MC. The best park run head honcho I have yet seen. Imagine what he could do with fertile material like Margaret in there. You know, you really want to see someone lead birthday celebrations, get Andre on there. He's absolute class. I'm going a bit too far with this praise now. It's going to look like I'm taking the mic. I'm actually not. I don't want to weird him out. Right, actually, shall I just break into his car and just wait in it in just my shorts? <laughs> Could you imagine? I've got you a pastry from Little Andy. Like Jed Maxwell. Right. Back to my car. I might actually go to Little, to be honest, and get myself a pastry. A cinnamon bun. A pecan plat. Who knows? It's starting to rain. Mamas, I'll see you on the morrow. Sounds like I'm going to a, an execution. <laughs> <laughs>